Hi everyone, my name is Mel Nakoth. Today we are going to talk about some of the sabotaging part, relationship patterns that as ladies maybe we do knowingly or unknowingly that may hinder our relationships. So I'm going to talk about myself mostly in this topic, things that have worked for me, things that I've done and I've realized they are, they are mistakes, mistakes that I've made and I just want to correct them to have a long lasting relationship. Yeah, we're going to start with the uh, flame out. This is a situation where you meet a guy and in this guy you see everything that you've ever wanted. Like when it, whenever he speaks, you just feel like, I love that voice. Yeah, I really like him. He's what I've wanted. He makes you feel like you are higher than 747. Yes, and you think, or maybe whenever he talks, you think he is the only person who really understands you. You maybe jump in conclusions. You have romantic dates. You jump into bed with that person. Then you think that, okay, really, I've just got the right man that maybe is perfect. This one is the man that I've ever wanted. Now he makes you happier. Each day he texts you, every time your phone buzzes with texts and love poems. Another second pattern is, I'll make him love me. This is where you find a man, then you do all things that will make him happy. You know, you meet people differently and everyone has his own way of doing things. So whenever you meet a person and you want that person to make to love you, you want to make that person love you mostly, seeing you every time, you don't want that person with another lady, so you'll be doing everything that you think will keep him. You'll be making him dinners, you'll be cooking for him every time, whenever you want sex, you'll be there for him. You'll be spending your money maybe for his tickets for playoffs, and then later you realize that the man really needed someone whom he'll take care of, he'll take out maybe, he never wanted a lady who will decide for him whatever he'll be doing. Then later you find out that whatever you wanted doesn't work. And you take every man, being useless, you call them names. You say men are all the same. Another pattern is chase me. This is where you find a man and you pour your heart out. You tell him everything that has been happening in your life, you get emotional, you tell him. Maybe, for example, the men you have met, you tell him how your relationships, maybe the previous one ended. You tell him everything, then you feel that you've not done the correct thing, you leave him without telling him that maybe you felt bad telling him everything that has happened in your life. So after that, you think that that man will be chasing after you, to tell you maybe he's sorry, he still wants you. Then you realize that that man never really loved you. Maybe in your confession you made a lot of mistakes, you told him almost everything that he never wanted to hear. So, we ladies make lots of mistakes by creating expectations that doesn't match whatever we really want. For example, meeting someone then you want to be the person will be doing everything in that relationship like you buying everything, you telling the guy where to go, where not to go. Then you deciding for him who to talk to, who never to talk to, which is that person away. Men doesn't like ruling women mostly. They love, when, they love it when they do everything. They decide for you. It's when that relationship maybe will prosper. Okay, now ladies, when you find yourself in those situations, maybe going through those patterns, three patterns that I've mentioned, chase me, frame out, or I'll make him love me, you should just work against those three patterns. Whenever you feel like, yeah, I've been living in this way, I've been wanting a man that will love me, I've been wanting a man that I'll tell everything about myself, and maybe you, as a lady you've gone through this, just try to work out against all these patterns. Try not to choose your partner. Maybe you can, like me I used to say, I'll never date someone out of my tribe. And I realized that 
men are not the same yes and you can't just get your match from just thinking that this one is not from my tribe i'm not going to date him i need a tall dark and, and handsome man so if i get a tall and maybe light-skinned guy i won't date him maybe if i get a shorter person i'll not date him people are different in every pr perspective in life maybe the short man you are rejecting now the person you are rejecting right now because they short is not dark may be the perfect match for yourself so ladies whenever you feel like you're not doing the right thing sit down relax and maybe ask yourself is this really what i want is this the person i really need in my life maybe the person you think he is the behaviors may not what the behaviors may not be whatever you thought or you, whatever you expected yeah